A dispute between top officials in Racine County could threaten the development of a Microsoft data center in that area. Our Racine County reporter Tahalil Mohadeen shares what the conflict is about and why neither side is backing down. Sent them back a letter saying what's immediately clear to me is that we have a serious dispute. That's Mount Pleasant Village President David DeGroote at a City of Racine Common Council meeting Tuesday. Generally speaking, I'm, I'm kind of a live and let live kind of guy. I believe that people should uh, manage you know, their own sandboxes and, and I manage mine, uh, except for when it starts to impact my constituents. The dispute is over a water and waste management service agreement between the village and the city that makes Racine responsible for some of the village's water supply. But DeGroote says lately, Racine city leaders haven't been doing their part. Going back to uh, August of 2023, the city started holding up projects. Projects specifically tied to approving water and sewer connections from Microsoft and other proposed developments in Mount Pleasant. In a statement Thursday, Racine's mayor, Corey Mason, claimed their city has not received the benefits that were advertised by Mount Pleasant officials when they last updated the agreement in 2018, citing Foxconn's job projections in the area falling significantly short by 2021. Microsoft doesn't fill the gap. So Mayor Mason wants to renegotiate. DeGroote and other village leaders are alleging breach of contract and sharing plans to file a complaint with the Public Service Commission. Mayor uh, sent a letter to me saying uh, we, we want to meet, but we uh, before we approve anything, we got to talk about all kinds of other junk that have nothing to do with the agreement. In turn, the city of Racine is filing a notice of their own, planning to use, quote, legal remedies to settle the dispute. In Racine County, Tehlil Mahdeen, TMJ4 News. Tahalil and the entire TMJ4 team dedicated to covering stories across Racine County. To see other stories from there, just scan that QR code on your screen.